Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. In today's episode, I am making DIYs that each have a pumpkin theme. This video is part of a collaboration, so stay tuned for more information on that. If you like crafting, DIYs, dupes, hacks, thrift flips, or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing and become my crafting BFF. If you do like any of the projects in today's video, remember to hit that thumbs up, but let's make some DIYs. I am so excited to show you this project because it is so fun and simple and it turns out so cute. So I'm just showing you that I took some paint sticks and I just cut them down to size. You could easily use some craft sticks or the jumbo craft sticks if you would like. But these bigger sticks I have right here, not sticks, these are like the planks. I think they're just like wood planks. They come six or so in a package from Dollar Tree. So I'm just taking three of those and I'm just kind of spacing them. You can see with a little bit of space so it kind of looks like a palette. But I'm also staggering the length so I push that middle one down just a little bit so that way it kind of gives it the shape of a pumpkin is what I'm going for here. Now this is going to be the back so again you can use the craft sticks but I just thought those paint sticks if you could see those through the little space that I provided there I liked that. Now I'm just using a pumpkin color of chalk paint here and I'm just going to paint this front and back make sure it's completely covered and then I just like to if you guys have watched me, you know I love to distress everything. So I just take my little emery board and I go all over each of the edges, also in between the little grooves that I left there to kind of give it that worn and farmhouse touch. Now, like a lot of crafters I know, I have a hard time throwing anything away. So this is just a piece off of one of the little sponge tools, the painting tools that I use. And so I'm just sanding the edges so it kind of gives it a fun little softer shape to it. And then I'm just going to paint this with just some green moss colored chalk paint. And this is just going to be the cute little stem to my pumpkin. So I just go ahead and paint this and then I distress it a little bit. And then I'm just going to use some hot glue and then I'm just going to glue that on. And I put my glue down and I kind of then space my pumpkin to make sure that none of the glue is showing up over the edge or anything and that it's a good height to the pumpkin there. So now comes the fun part of embellishing this. So I'm just taking a leaf off of one of the Dollar Tree picks that I had from fall. You use any kind of leaf or anything, even some like a fabric leaf would be really cute. Uh, and I'm just gluing that on with some hot glue and just kind of softens the look of it. And I'll just take a little extra glue here, glue down any parts that are sticking up kind of how I don't want them. And then I thought it would be really cute to use some Spanish moss. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue onto the top of the pumpkin. And then you can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back. And I'll use my little silicone tool here just to push that down. And then I have this cute little pit berry that I had that came. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but I have seen some at Dollar Tree. So if you can get some there, definitely do that. And I just kind of wrap it around like my brush to give it a little curly cue type of style to it. And I just wrap it on that little stem there and I thought that just kind of was cute acted like a little pumpkin vine or something just a cute little embellishment on there I love having projects like this and getting to use your creativity to kind of embellish and decorate them now I'm just taking some raffia and I'm just going to tie this in a knot around that little stem and I left it long because I wanted to kind of see how much I needed to cut off so after I get that tied off I just kind of eyeball it and do my best judge on like where I want to cut it and then you can kind of crinkle this with your fingers or to anything you want to do to give it a little bit more of a farmhouse look but I just take the extra pieces that I have and tie just like a little shoestring like a loop bow there uh, and tie a little piece around it to me this is the easiest way to tie raffia rather than to actually try and tie the bow and then I'm just using some hot glue to glue that right over the knot that I tied before now this would be really cute to kind of lean up against something or you could even add it to another sign if you had made a bigger sign, but I just take a little tumbling tower block and glue that onto the back to help it stand. Look at how adorable this turns out. I love it and it was not that much money to create. So you could definitely do this on a budget and I think it turns out so cute and it is definitely that perfect farmhouse fall touch. I'm so excited to be participating in this fall pumpkin collaboration. Down in my description box will be a link to a playlist where all of these awesomely talented creators have made pumpkin or gourd themed DIYs for you. You are not going to want to miss it because they are going to be such fun, different fall inspiration there for you. So definitely check out that link that is down in my description box. Participating in the playlist today is Arrows DIY, Moxie Java and DIY, DIY from house to home, myself, Farm Charm Chic, The Shawowan's Nest, and Jujube DIY. If you are new or are coming from the playlist, welcome. I would love to become crafting BFFs, so hit that subscribe button and we can craft together here on YouTube every week. And if you are returning or have been here before, it is great to have you back. 
Now let's go make some more DIYs. You can easily recreate this project with any shape, size, or style of cutting board that you may have. This is just a little one that I got from the spring section at Hobby Lobby. Their spring stuff is 75% off right now if your store is lucky enough to have some left over. So I picked up a couple of these little round cutting boards to use for various things. And I'm just going to paint the round or the base portion of this uh, orange. I think in like a normal size, like one from the Dollar Tree, like the square size or rectangle sized cutting board, this would be so cute on as well. And then I'm just using some moss paint as the stem of my pumpkin here. So I'm just painting the handle of the little cutting board or charcuterie board, whichever you want to call it. And then I do kind of go on the edge to make sure that that handle, like the green for the stem, is straight all the way around so it looks continuous all, over, all the way around. Now, I want you to know that I'm going to use some chalk couture transfers on here, but you could easily leave this plain. You could do a water slide decal. You could uh, glue something else to embellish it. This is open to your interpretation how you want to embellish this i just had this cute little saying from chalk couture and i can leave a link down in my description box if you want to know a little bit more about chalk couture because it is a lot of fun and it's kind of like screen printing and i'm just putting on the white chalk paste here and scraping that on and then you'll peel back this transfer and you'll be able to see all of the words and the cute little false saying that i have here I'm curious to know if you were to create this, what saying or what would you embellish yours with? So let me know down in the comments. This just says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. And I thought that was so cute. And then of course, I just wanted to add a little bit of twine to it to kind of give it that little farmhouse touch and also to give it the little like hanging handle back on the top. So I just threaded a looped part of the twine through and you can see how I did that, how I looped that through and tie that off. And then I take just some little uh, twine, just regular jute twine and I make a cute little bow. I just tie it ahead of time rather than tie it around the cutting board. And then I go ahead and just glue that on with some hot glue. Now this would be a perfect project if you did want to paint the other side a different color or maybe paint a cute little jack-o'-lantern face. You could flip it around, make it dual purpose or something like that. This little size is perfect for a tiered tray, but think how cute a larger size would be leaned up against your counter or your backsplash in your kitchen. It would be so cute. I love how this turns out. What do you guys think of this one? I love how this Dollar Tree Fall DIY turns out. So I'm just taking a couple of these little block signs from Dollar Tree. They're different sizes. I thought the staggering size was really cute. Now I did spray that or rip the paper off first and then I sprayed with the like residue that was left behind with just some water. And then I'm going in with a baby wipe and a little putty knife here just to scrape that off. So that way I can paint these the color that I want and not have any of that paper residue or glue or anything left behind. So now I'm just measuring out. I want to stagger the size of these pumpkins. So I'm just trying to eyeball how far down I want to do and to see what it looks like. I'm just doing not a full coat of paint because I do want this to look pretty distressed. So I'm just kind of doing like a messy coat on here, I guess, and just kind of making it look really farmhouse, really shabby, that kind of stuff. And so you can, of course, paint these whatever color matches your decor, or if you're like, I do not like that style of the farmhouse paint, paint them solid, whatever you want to do. So now these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree have a lot of glitter on them. And since I am going to paint these to match my colors for fall, I scraped that glitter off of them. Now I did just kind of measure here. You can see how far down I want to cut that second pumpkin. And so I drew my straight line and then I drew the corners on. I traced those from the other pumpkin so I could cut it down and have it match. So hopefully that makes sense. And I just showed you, I just used my little hand miter saw there. I have a link to that down in my description box if you want to check that out on Amazon. I did pick mine up at Lowe's. So if you have like a close home, uh, home I want to say Home Depot, but any type of home improvement store, there we go. <laughs> Then you can check there. They're like 10, 15 bucks or something like that. I love using Waverly's pumpkin and moss for fall decor. I think it has that perfect farmhouse muted tone to it. So I give these just a couple of coats of each of those colors and then I just sand around the edges. I really liked how it kind of brought out the color they originally were. It kind of was a good contrast so I was pretty happy with that. And then I'm taking some just white chalk paint here and just doing a really light dry brush to kind of add a little bit of visual interest to them because they were kind of flat and plain looking. And then I did forget to mention, but I think you saw me gluing the stems back on. I did just paint those with some brown paint. Now you can do whatever you would like to do for your lettering on these signs. I just got these from Cricut's Design Space and just cut them out with my cutting machine. You could easily um, do some handwriting on them, print on tissue paper. I've done several tutorials on that. Uh, I've also done... Um, 
water slide decals, anything like that. There's so many different ways to get words onto things. So whatever method you like to use, go ahead and do that. But I just really like the saying, happy harvest. I thought that was super cute. And then I do just use some wood glue and also some hot glue to get these all glued together. Now you did see me take a little bit of the dry brushing and go over the vinyl letters. That kind of gives it a faded look as well. So it looks like the letters were meant to go on the sign. So just keep that in mind if you're ever doing vinyl on a project you're distressing to dry brush over the letters a little bit to help them look aged as well. And then I'm just embellishing this just with some ribbon that I had, some cute little black and white buffalo check ribbon I thought was really cute on there. And then just some raffia and you can see I'm just kind of scrunching that up I thought it was kind of fun I oh I also have this cute little pit berry and I've used this in a couple of projects and what I love to do with it is wrap it around like the end of your paintbrush or a pencil or something and give it kind of that corkscrew look and then I just wrapped it around the stem on these and I love it with the pumpkins because to me it just looks like little pumpkin vines growing I just think they're super cute and it just it's so fun to be able to take these pieces and embellish them however you want to kind of give them that cute little personal touch. I did the same thing on each of them so they matched really well. Then I just glue them together and glue them onto the cute little sign. I absolutely love how this turns out. To me, it looks so high end. It looks like something you would truly buy at a store or at a boutique or out of like a catalog or something i just think it turned out so cute it is so fun it's perfect for fall and it's something you definitely could leave up the whole season are you guys on instagram if you are i would love if you would come and find me i am farm charm chic over there i'll leave a link down in my description box so you can easily find me but come and see what i'm working on i post there quite a bit i like to show you things that i'm working on or when i have videos ready it's just another place to stay in touch so if you do come find me remember to send me a dm and say hi because i do love meeting new friends This is a bonus DIY that I'm adding into this video here. It's done solely with Chalk Couture products, which I'll explain a little bit about here in a minute. But I'm just showing you this little kit came, there is this darling little truck shape here, and then there's these transfers. And so you can do this truck double-sided. There's transfers to do both sides. So on this particular side, I want it to kind of feel fall-like. And so I'm going to do it a two-tone color in like a gray and a turquoise. And then when I get ready to do my Christmas DIYs, I can flip it over and make it kind of a red truck because I, you guys know how much I love red trucks with Christmas decor. Uh, and so I'm really excited to get to do that. I feel like Chalk Couture sometimes like cricket, you either like love it or you hate it or people, I don't know, it's kind of a trigger for some people to kind of leave some nasty comments in the comments. But honestly, I just want you to know that I am a fan of anything that gets somebody to create so i would never ever shame anybody for wanting to create something and i love that there's products for all different levels whether you're beginner or advanced like you know speaking of power tools to just hand tools versus uh, using something easy like this or a cricket or being able to hand litter something or stenciling and it fits all budget types too so just because it's not something that necessarily is your cup of tea doesn't mean that there's not somebody out there who wants to try it the thing i do love about chalk couture is it's easy honestly guys i bought this because i just wanted to make it for my house because i absolutely loved it and thought well i'll just record myself doing it and just kind of show you what it's about if you want to give it a try or just show you so you know what's out there because so many people i've talked to have never even heard of this before so it kind of works like the concept of a stencil but it's screen printing is the closest thing that I can say like when they like screen print like t-shirts or things and so you have the paste that you use which is much thicker than like a chalk paint it's very comparable like one of these little um, pots of the paste is very comparable to like the large size of the Waverly chalk paint at Walmart um, and it lasts for a very long time like you do not use a lot of it so it's it is a little bit of an, an investment for the size that it that it is but it lasts a very long time so very comparable to like the larger sizes of the paint and then you can see you have these little scraping tools and it, the transfer is very sticky on the back and so you can see when you peel that back i have those different colors that i did 
I mean, look at how perfect that comes out. I mean, there is such a sense of satisfaction when you make something like this that you pull it back and go, oh my gosh, like it worked. It's so, it is, it turns out so cute. I love that turquoise color on there. And then you just rinse your transfers out with warm water and then you're able to use them like up to 10 times. Like they're amazing. So the kit also came with this little block here. And so I'm just going to do the welcome autumn here in just kind of like an orange color. I thought this was so cute. If you do have any questions about Chalk Couture, definitely leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram. I'll get you whatever information I can. I'm still fairly new to the world of doing this and trying this out, but there is a link down in my description box if you wanna check it out for yourself. But it's just another way to be crafty and um, just kind of do things and not have to have like a lot of freehand talent. I guess that's my big thing. So now this little piece right here that came with it, it has pumpkins on one side. And what is so fun about this DIY is I can flip it over and it also came with a watermelon transfer. And it also came with another little saying that I could do for uh, summertime. And then there's a Christmas one and a Valentine's one. And it's, it's so cute. Like look at those cute little pumpkins. And then, so you wait for it to completely dry. And then I put the second piece over the transfer and I'm doing a contrast contrasting orange color and so that way it'll make all the little detail and elements show up there you can see when I peel this back here I don't I think it turns out really cute and I love that you can flip it over and use it for different seasons I just think this truck looks so cute like it's headed to the market the farmer's market with its freshly picked pumpkins to go sell I think this is so cute I normally do like a little bit of chalk couture here and there in my DIYs. I don't like to do like a whole bunch of DIYs with it because I do like to kind of keep the variety, but I would love to know what you guys thought of this one. I think it turned out so cute. And for a little bonus DIY in the video, I thought it couldn't hurt. And I'm so excited to use this in my fall decor. I'll have to show you on Instagram where I end up putting it in my house. Did you guys enjoy these pumpkin themed DIYs? I hope that you did because I had so much fun making each and every one of them. I think they all turned out so cute. I feel like they all look very high end. And please let me know down in the comments, which is your favorite. I do always love to know or read which ones are your favorites because it kind of lets me know uh, what you guys are like, what you like seeing and kind of what you are liking so I can continue kind of heading in that direction. But I think everything turned out so cute and I'm so excited to start to use it in all of my fall decor when do you guys start decorating for fall i haven't put anything officially out in my house yet but my craft studio is starting to become overrun with a bunch of it so i kind of think i need to get it out and get decorating with it uh, please remember to check out the playlist that link is going to be down in my description box so remember to click that and then you'll be taking you'll see all sorts of fun pumpkin and gourd diys as always you guys i want you to remember to be safe be smart be nice be happy choose to have a good day because you are amazing thank you so much guys i'll see you next time if you enjoyed the video that you just saw here's another one that you might enjoy and as always remember to like and subscribe thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day